If you have heard of the eternal question of, naughty or nice, when it comes to female characters in movies and TV shows, then you must be interested in exploring the historical context behind this phenomenon. Do you remember the iconic characters of Jennifer Marlowe and Bailey Quarters from the hit show WKRP in Cincinnati? These two women perfectly embody the naughty and nice formula that has captivated audiences for decades. Jennifer Marlowe, played by the stunning Lonnie Anderson, was the tan, buxom blonde receptionist who had every guy at the station falling over themselves. But she wasn't just a pretty face. Jennifer was also the most intelligent and level-headed person at the company. With her popularity skyrocketing, thanks in part to an unforgettable pin-up poster, Jennifer became the epitome of a 70s goddess. On the other hand, Bailey Quarters, played by Jan Smithers, was overshadowed by Jennifer's allure. Initially overlooked by station manager Arthur Carlson, Bailey had her own appeal to male viewers. She was the beautiful girl next door, trying to make her way in a man's world. In the end, Bailey's relatability and accessibility won over the hearts of many. Moving on to the timeless question of Ginger or Marianne, from the classic TV show Gilligan's Island. Tina Louise played Ginger Grant, the glamorous movie star, while Don Wells portrayed Mary Ann, the innocent farm girl. Ginger exuded confidence and sexuality, while Mary Ann had a more modest and wholesome appeal. Ginger was undeniably a stone-cold fox, with an air of experience that could rock anyone's world. However, she came with a downside, high maintenance. Ginger required a lot in return, both financially and emotionally. On the other hand, Mary Ann, despite her modesty, was just as hot as Ginger, if not more so. She even wore more revealing clothes, like her iconic short shorts. Mary Ann's down-to-earth nature and lack of baggage made her a favorite among many. Let's not forget the dynamic duo of Janet Wood and Chrissy Snow from the TV sitcom Three's Company. Janet, played by Joyce DeWitt, was the down-to-earth florist, while Chrissy, played by Suzanne Summers, was the ditzy blonde. Janet often found herself in the shadow of Chrissy's bubbly personality and sex appeal. While Janet may have been more attractive, her Miss Goody Two Shoes personality could get old. Chrissy, on the other hand, was a lot more fun to be around, despite her occasional ditzy moments. Her sex appeal and undeniable charm made her a favorite among many viewers. Lastly, we have Samantha Stevens and her mischievous cousin Serena from the TV show Bewitched. Samantha, played by Elizabeth Montgomery, was the dutiful wife, always bailing out her foolish husband, Darren. Serena, also played by Montgomery, was the sexed-up version of Samantha, a nympho witch with no moral compass. While Serena may have been tempting, it is Samantha who ultimately wins out. Despite her role as the responsible wife, Samantha's beauty and charm shine through. Serena may take you to dark places, but Samantha offers a sense of normalcy and stability. In the end, the nice characters seem to win out over the naughty ones. This exercise has been both fun and revealing, allowing us to make our own choices and learn something about ourselves. So, which do you prefer, the naughty or the nice? The vixen or the plain Jane? Take a journey through these old photos and savor the history of these iconic characters. The most exciting part is still ahead, so let's immerse ourselves in the images and reminisce about that era.